What's up, Rebels? Today, I got a little secret for you. You know all of those people you follow online, on Instagram, on YouTube, that just seem like they have the most interesting and amazing lives imaginable? Well, the reality is, is their day-to-day -day life, 99% of the time, not that different from yours or mine or anybody else's. And because of that, it can get really intimidating to start a blog or a vlog or start putting yourself out there. So in this video today, we're gonna talk about how to vlog even if you think your life is not that interesting. Okay, so first off, why do people follow vlogs? It's not for the crazy stories or the unique destinations or all that stuff. They follow them for the personality, for the people involved. You form a relationship, like we're forming a relationship right here. Like most of you that are watching this, it's because you've got some sort of connection and interest in me. Whether it's the things that I'm teaching you, whether it's the stories I tell you, whether it's the trips I take, none of that means anything if you don't have a relationship with the person. So even if you think you live in a boring place or you've got nothing to say, the chances are you've got a unique personality, a unique expertise, a unique outlook on the world that people wanna see. It's all about that connection with you. So learn how to embrace that. I think I might be missing my window for good light here. So we'll see if we have to uh, shift destinations here. Okay, number two, here's the thing. A good vlogger can tell an interesting story through their visuals and through their storytelling, no matter where they are. That might mean getting the camera off the tripod, trying camera angles you wouldn't normally try. See what I mean about unique angles? You know, mixing up uh, slow motion or, you know, graphic effects or things like that. And all of these things take time. Like, you know, I'm admittedly not the best at it. But the more you practice it, the better you're going to get. So even if you think your life isn't that interesting, even if you're not going to like exotic destinations, you can still tell a good story with interesting visuals just by thinking outside the box. Hey, you want some proof? Here's a short clip of me making dinner last night. And granted, I'm not the best at this, but you kind of get the idea. I swear I'm not normally this messy of a person, but well, I didn't feel like cleaning up last night. So before I can make dinner tonight, we're gonna have to take care of this. Much better. One of my favorite recipes, I never make it because it's super unhealthy, is a champagne asparagus risotto. And let me tell you, it's phenomenal. Let's do this. Onions, every time. Tears. They're not even real onions, they're shallots. They're like little fake onions. Oh, I'm such a wuss. It's not gonna pop. I, I expected that to pop. Can't you see how much fun this is? All I gotta say is We're still stirring. Stick your head in like 45 minutes. And now I'm remembering why I only make this like okay. so anyway, once a year. That is how you make champagne asparagus risotto. Don't expect me to do it for you again anytime soon because I know this seemed quick, but that took a really long time. And, uh, was totally worth it. Here's one that some people might argue with, but personally, I think it's super valuable. Go watch other YouTubers, read other bloggers, and watch what they're doing. The people that really inspire you Focus on the things that they're doing because that's just gonna make your videos that much better. But then here's the key. Watch them for a while and then stop. Because if you keep watching them, all that's gonna happen is you're gonna end up copying them and you wanna create your own voice. Get the inspiration, stop, 
start creating and focus on what you can do that's special. Sometime soon, I'll do a post on the vloggers that inspire me the most. But until then, a few I would check out are obviously Casey Neistat, uh, Peter McKinnon, and Sarah Dishi. They are all doing awesome things, have their own unique style, and are definitely good people to learn from. So let's take a quick second. You finding this useful? If so, give us the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, wherever that is, and uh, let's keep going. And cue forest montage now. So I had a really cool idea for a shot in this like fountain thing here. Eh, it didn't work out. Another thing is don't worry about having a huge audience. Pretend like nobody's watching and just create the stuff that you're interested in. That's why I put golf in my videos. That's why I talk about cooking and you'll probably see more about craft cocktails soon because I'm trying to go to the top 100 bars in the world. That's kind of interesting, but that's just my life. And even though there's nobody necessarily watching, I'm still making these videos because I like it. And I know that there's a lot of people that have enough similar interests as me and are interested in the things that I know, that whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, a year from now, or who knows, maybe never, but eventually people are gonna start paying attention if I keep getting better at what I do and I do the things that I love. So this place for sale right now, I'm thinking about moving in. Yeah, all for the low, low price of $2.5 million. You have to wait a couple decades for that one. Just one more point I really wanna make clear. Anyone can do this. I literally picked a topic I thought you would be interested in. I started walking around my house. I don't care where you live. There are interesting shots to be had. Anyone can do this, even you. So I just filmed this entire shot. Apparently didn't hit the record button. And then all of a sudden, this was the spot like 25 people wanted to hang out in for 20 minutes. So we're gonna try this again. And finally, the absolute best advice I can give for creating an interesting vlog, even if you think you have an, don't have an interesting life, is to tell a story. If you're a good storyteller, you can take even the most mundane things, like walking through a park, and make it interesting. Storytelling is one of the absolute most important skills you can have in life, and starting a vlog and forcing yourself to tell stories on a regular basis, one of the absolute best ways you can do it. And with that, that is all I got for you this week. That is how to start a vlog, even if you think you don't have an interesting life, all you gotta do, learn how to tell interesting stories, get better at your craft, practice, and just try and think outside the box. You do that, and I promise you, people are gonna start paying attention. So if you haven't already, give us the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below, wherever it might be. By the time you see this, I'm gonna be in Vail, Colorado, hitting the slopes. So if you're in the area, you wanna go skiing, hit me up, sean at locationrebel.com. But otherwise, the next video you see is gonna be coming from there, and I will see you guys soon next Thursday.